When you play Football Manager, do you try to stay away from any league that has really difficult and hard restrictions on foreign players? I really mean that as a question. I find myself getting really frustrated with leagues that restrict me to three foreign players or who have that have such, you know, strange requirements to say that you have to have X number of players from here. Players from these countries don't count. I have to bring out a pad of paper and write and say, well, what about this? What about that? How am I going to plan out this save? For some people, I think it's a big adventure, and for others, maybe it's not such an interesting adventure. There's a save I want to look over here with you. This is a uh, save. It's not my own. Uh, this was done by Tom Tuck. Uh, it's uh, attracted me as it was Tom Tuck's first FM career adventure. Um, so uh, it's interesting. He looks and he says he was trying to figure out which country and league to, upload, uh, to uh, use. He was playing this in 2012, so this is 12 years ago. It's amazing how quickly time goes by. He did choose to use uh, South Korea, which is interesting because he wound up playing, in, uh, managing in Seoul. He says here, I have never in my history in Football Manager had a long career save, so this was the first that he had. He ended up at FC Seoul. Now you'll see there are links here to uh, photos, but they're all taken down because this is 12 years old. So we're not going to worry necessarily too much about that. The interesting thing about this, though, is he started his uh, career off is that he left very very quickly he left after one season so we'll scroll down here a little bit and see if we can get directly to the point um, where he leaves at first it looks good what an amazing few months it has been in South Korea I'll put a full review of the season so far it's good um, but right here he says it's just the day after the Kaylee Championship final. After just five months in charge, I am considering leaving Seoul. There is little money in South Korea, and with the player restrictions, just three foreigners in the match day squad, which I think is the same as it is today. It will be very hard to kick on at all. I can't attract the best South Koreans as they either play abroad or for my rivals, and I ha already have my foreigner quota. Of course, I could stay and probably replete this season's success, maybe even win the Asian Championships uh, Championship League. But even at this early stage of my career, I think there are better things or at least better, bigger challenges out there for me. So uh, he had a lot of uh, success, but he ended up resigning. Uh, of course, uh, this isn't going to show. It's going to show us a bunch of nothing. Um, but uh, he's unemployed, seeking work, and then he ends up uh, joining Bristol Rovers. We're going to skip um, ahead here. We'll just look here at what happened to him in the end. Started off with Seoul one season, and then he moves on to England. Bristol, Boston United, Swansea. He became England manager for a while, which is impressive. And then City United and finally Inter at the end of the career. Um, and that's sort of where we jump here to the end where he has won the Champions League. It took him about 30 seasons, or I'm sorry, 20 seasons in game, about uh, 2031 to win the European Championship Champions League. But this is the interesting part here. Remember, the reason why he was trying to get out of South Korea is because he said we're not going to be able to compete. But what happens to FC Seoul after he leaves? So finished sixth and they were knocked out in the first round of the playoffs and then first first second first all the way through and they start dominating right what happens in asia oh look at this asian championship league winners in 2017 2019 2020 2022 and uh, here in 2027. And that's sort of the reason why I wanted to make this video and talk about this. Not necessarily a knock on him, but to say that you can still have success even with those kinds of restrictions. I think for you, it's really more a question of what type of game you want to play. One reason why I tend to like to play with World Super League and other modifications like that is because we can get rid of all those stupid requirements and instead we can focus on just playing the game and not having to worry too much about, you know, jumping through this hoop and jumping through that hoop to make things work there's also it's also a little bit uh, nicer the feeling you get when you're actually the best team in the world instead of just being the best team in a corner of the world and being sort of stuck there right having said that if you have those kind of restrictions and if you're doing this very specific say focus on a very specific thing don't let the foreigner restrictions throw you off because you just might be able to go through and win the champions uh, champions league multiple times with the players and with the setup that you have directly so love to know what the rest of you guys think about this while i think that it was a good save and he definitely achieved what he set out to do i think it really could have been a lot better with a little bit more patience that's my opinion love to know what yours is talk to you later bye